Welcome to Eurolita Virtual Tours and we are here to show you the past of uh, very beautiful, large, important Jewish community of Lithuania traveling in different places, small shtetls and a big cities to show you what still can, can be located in our beautiful land. So be with us, subscribe to our channel and travel with your Lita. In our virtual tours, we're traveling around many, many, many shtetls in Lithuania. And now we arrive to a place that even in the peak had only 1500 inhabitants. And from this 1500 inhabitants, around 1000 been a Jews. So this was not very big place, even not a shtetl, I can say it was a shtetl. Today, how many inhabitants in this place? 855. How many Jews from them? Zero. And the name of this place? Pumpene. Pumpene in Lithuanian language or Pumpan in Yiddish. Walking among those trees in this beautiful park, it's hard to imagine that we in the middle of a market square. So the typical shtetl, the church behind of me, and then next to the church it was a market square, and from market square was the five roads that took you to the most important places. Road number one took you to Posvol. Posvol was a nice small shtetl. Another road was to Vobolnik, and Vobolnik was a small shtetl and according to the testimonials many robbers sit in this road, so it was very dangerous to go through this road. Next road was to Pushalot, and this was another small shtetl around, and the next road was to Ponivesh. Ponivesh was a big city area city and it was a dream to go and live in Ponivesh. So I named you a four roads, where is the five? So number five road, it was from the market square to the synagogue, to the shul. So what was a bestseller on the marketplace? It was the big barrels, on those barrels used to sit such a bobus and sell a herring. Herring, a traditional Lithuanian food. Big herring, small herring, fat herring, clean herring, any taste will find something. So, what about the groceries? So, groceries you used to buy in the grocery stores. And we still have few here. Usually a bestseller was a jelly candies in the glass cans. And local Lithuania like to buy those candies because the can you can use after you eat all the candies. You can put some sour cream and go and sell it in the market square on a Sunday market. So, you may see that here some buildings are missing. And unfortunately, this is a building that most valuable to us. In Pumpan today, no any building that used as a synagogue still remains. And in this area, it was a city center, at the Pumpan center, it was a synagogue here, and of course, like typical, it was as well a shoichet that used to operate and give a solution for the local Jews with any type of meat. And of course, it was a milamed that all the kids used to go here for studying the Heider and Hivra Kadisha that operate cemetery where we will go next. So this was a typical community center that gave a solution for the community life and unfortunately, like zero Jews today in Pumpan, there is nothing on this field and nothing left till our days. Bath. Not used anymore, but still equipped inside. So this only one public building that survived till our days, a Jewish bath, and it was very typical for Jews to own such a bath, very important by the tradition. And this bath, by the way, not only by Jewish people. So typically on the Fridays, the Jews use this bath. On Saturdays, Lithuanian people, the Gentiles, come to use it. 
So it was very popular because Jewish bath always was a clean, nice equipped and well kept place. But unfortunately today it's not used anymore. Coming to those places it's very nice to open the phone book and to see who owned the telephones in those small shtetls. So this is a telephone book from 1940 and if I'm opening to Pumpian page I can see that it was Ashkenazi Chaim number 11, Yankelevichus Jonas number 6, Bumshas Bronislavas number 9, Levinsonas Yoselis number 7, Levi Pesach number 15, uh, some firemen brigades volunteers number 10. So we may tell that from all those telephone numbers at least half was in Jewish hands. In the end of our journey we come to visit the Jewish cemetery of Kumtan. Same like this cemetery with only few gravestones there is no much history left in this once beautiful jewish community try to imagine 10 hundreds jews used to live here and now is nothing left so here with this few gravestones we're saying goodbye we're saying shalom to this place please come visit it if you will have this opportunity here we're having a stone where in hebrew written Vishkivu Beshalom Al Mishkavetam. So as a tradition I just putting stone here for this beautiful community.